Hey tires, Darren here back with another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying a pattern called the Surgeon General. This one comes from a book called Flies of the Northwest which was put out by the Inland Empire Fly Fishing Club a number of years ago and this one was created by Del Cooper. He was a Portland rod maker and fly tire. The pattern here, the Surgeon General, is a variation of the skunk and it's been proven effective on pretty much every Northwest steelhead stream and it's also been great for sea run coat cutthroat. So let's have a look at the material list and get started tying this pattern. Alright, let's get a fresh hook in the vise. I'm using a Mustad bomber hook, and this one is model number 38941. So we're going to start off with a black 6 aught thread near the head, a couple wraps, and then I'm going to tie in a piece of number 10 silver gold uni tinsel and we'll tie that on the gold side facing up. We'll tie that all the way down to the hook point and then we'll take about uh, three or four wraps backwards. You want to give us a little bit of tension just so that you don't have any creases and then back up. We'll catch that. Lock it down. Trim it. All right, next we're going to tie in a little bit of red schlappen. I'm going to take a few fibers from one feather, just from one side. So I just like to put them out at a 40, at a 90 degree angle and then pull them off at one little clump and just kind of push them all together. I'm going to do just a touch longer than the hook bend. I'll just start with a couple wraps just to make sure it's on top of the hook shank. Then we're going to wind loose up to the back of the head of the hook. Now I'm going to take a medium, this is a uni oval tinsel in silver. Just uh, wrap that along the close shank, close side of the shank. And then we're just going to make sure that we have everything positioned properly here. Making sure that the tail is positioned on top. All right, so next I'm going to take a little bit of seal dubbing. I'm using a purple seal. Um, of course, it's a little bit difficult for people to get seal in the United States, so you might want to use something like simi seal or purple wool or any kind of coarse dubbing will work fine. The seal, it's a little bit difficult to dub. It's uh, a coarse hair with a tight wave in it. So it really looks great for the bugginess of it, but it can be a little bit challenging to put onto a dubbing noodle. So if you're having trouble with it, just use a little bit of dubbing wax on your thread, and that should help stick a little bit. I find you just add some stiff pressure to your twist, you keep going in the same direction and it seems to sit on there fairly well. I'm just going to make a slight taper towards the head. I'm going to leave a little bit of room there for tying in the wing and the collar. 
Next we're going to take our oval tinsel and we're just going to wind forward about five times. We'll lock that in place. So the next material that's called for is this, which is polar bear. Um, can be a little bit, quite a bit tricky for people to get that, so I would suggest that you use a substitute like calf tail or fox hair or even craft fur I guess if you want. Um, I've also used saltwater yak hair in the past which has been pretty good. But I do have a little bit of polar bear but even in Canada here it's getting harder and harder to get. So I'm going to take small clump. You want to try and find hairs that are kind of straight. Polar bear can be pretty wavy or kinky. So what I do is usually have quite a bit of under fur. I'm just gonna pull that out. And hopefully the guard hairs don't come with it. So I'm going to save that for some dubbing. Put that aside. Next I take the hair that I've cut. I'll take the longest ones and I'll match them up just so that I've got a bit of a denser tip. So you can probably see the shine in that. It's rather nice um, but again if you don't have polar bear you can add a little bit of pearl tinsel into your wing it'll kind of give a similar effect all right I'm gonna tie that wing right on top of the hook shank and you want to make sure you give that a few nice solid thread wraps Trim off the butt ends there. Clean up the head a little bit. Just want to give that a pull, make sure that those hairs aren't going to come out. Make sure your wing's right up on top. If you want, just like I said, just add a little bit of glue right there and let it dry before you go on to your next step which is taking a red hackle. We're just going to pull some of these fibers down off the tip. And this is from a red neck. You can use a strong hackle here. We've also tied this using uh, red schloppen, which looks rather nice as well. Alright, so we tied in our hackle, fold it back the tip, now we're just going to run our scissors along the edge of the feather and then we're going to start winding, pulling everything back all the time, make a nice uniform collar. We're going to tie that off here. Fold that hackle forward so that it's really locked in there. Alright, so now we'll just clean the head up a little bit. Add a whip finish. Mm -hmm. 
There you go. Surgeon General. Enjoy. Thanks for stopping by my Fly Time channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.